to beautiful Killarney Provincial Park, everyone. My family's here at George Lake Campground for the next week, and I cannot wait to bring you my full review of this provincial park. This is by far one of the most beautiful provincial parks our family has ever camped at. And if you're not into backcountry canoe and campsites, which there are many here at Killarney, by the way, but you'd rather do car camping like us, I can't wait to give you a full review of George Lake Campground. We're all about living on less here at this channel and guys, what is cheaper than tent camping? There are some pretty sweet tent camping spots here at Killarney and I'm gonna give you a tour of ours. Quite by accident, we chose probably one of the best sites here at George Lake, site number 45. It was very competitive to get sites this year, especially connecting ones since we were camping with a lot of family members. But you can see here just how huge site 45 is. Every site at George Lake Campground is non-electric, by the way, so if you require electricity to camp, this is not the spot for you. But if you're okay with a cooler or a generator or something like that, then um, you'll be just fine at George Lake. We have a massive tent, so you can see it fits just fine, as well as our screen tent. And one of the things we did really love about Site 45 is that it was connected via a very little trail to site 46 right next to us and that is where my brother and sister-in-law and my nieces were staying so it's really great for extended family who want to camp together <music> off the back of our campsite is this little trail that ends at quite a beautiful view of George Lake. So if you're aiming for a good sight, I mean, 45 is pretty great as far as they come. We nicknamed this rocky outcropping Sunset Rock because you could watch the sunset in the west every evening. Site 44 is actually also connected to this site through a trail and um, you can it's just a gorgeous view of the shore of George Lake and the kids really like to sit out and wave to anybody who was canoeing or kayaking by. Um, the water was just like glass. No motorized boats are allowed on George Lake which some people might not like if they like their motorized boats, but we personally loved the piece. There is water access right near our site and we find the water good and clean and drinkable at provincial parks. There are also vault toilets right across from our site. And as far as vault toilets go, if you don't know, they're non-flushable. It's kind of like a glorified outhouse, but there were sinks with running water and a mirror and just kind of your basic toilet, but it does the job. However, we're very close to a comfort station, the only comfort station at George Lake, by the way. And you can see that it was very clean and well kept. They came in and cleaned several times a day, lots of shelf space, things to hang things from. If you're a girl and like to hang your makeup bag, there were hand dryers and a baby changing station as well. I was impressed by the amount of showers at this comfort station, there were seven. The water was very hot, excellent water pressure, um, almost too hot in some cases. There's only one temperature, you can't turn it to cold, but if it's chilly out, it's just the thing to warm you up. And they were also very clean. There is laundry, coin-operated laundry in this comfort station, which came in handy on a day that we got absolutely soaked and I could just throw all of our clothes in the dryer. And uh, if you forget your soap or softener, it's right there. And an emergency defibrillator, which is really important, especially the amount of adventuring you're gonna be doing at Killarney if somebody has a heart issue while you're there. Bring your bikes. We did bike with the kids quite a bit, just around the campsites. It's not a place where there are great biking trails, but definitely biking the loops of the campground is a lot of fun for the kids. I did bike around to scope out some good sites and I feel like this little loop here was really great, site 64 to 71. A lot of the sites at the end of this loop overlooked the water. Coincidentally, this site was really close to the cliff jumping location, so if you're into that, you wanna camp right on this strip. It wasn't a far walk for us, and um, actually everything in George Lake is pretty walkable, 
but um, this was a lot of fun for the kids. It's been tried and tested before. There are no rocks down at the bottom that you're going to bash yourself on. It's very deep. Um, I did wear life jackets on my kids because I'm that stickler of a mom, um, just in case something were to happen, even though they're good, strong swimmers. But you can see there's kind of three different levels that you can jump off of. And um, the highest level we were trying to figure out, you know, like over 20 feet, maybe close to 30 feet, but they had so much fun. While we're watching my kids jump here, I did want to let everyone know that um, I do have other camping videos out that I will link below if you'd like to see other reviews of provincial parks here in Ontario or just camping advice as to how I pack, how I do cooler camping and tent camping to make things easier for our large family. We have six kids. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check those videos out. If you have a trailer, there are pull-through sites at Killarney that make maneuvering a lot easier. Again, they don't have electricity, but it will make parking a whole lot easier for you. You can see that, I mean, they're pretty tight. I definitely prefer the site we had, um, but if you really want somewhere with no trees and pull-through, these are the sites for you. Probably the site locations that I found the worst were the ones by the beach. So when you're booking, take a look at the map and try not to get sites by the beach. I mean, it's great that you have access to the beach right there, but they were so busy with traffic. There's parking right there. There's very little privacy and you're far from the comfort station. There are yurts here at Killarney. Great for winter camping, but people also use them in the summer. They've got heat and um, just a little easier than a tent or trailer than bringing your own. But notice here, the access to each yurt is like a really long winding laneway and you cannot drive and park at your yurt. You have to park way back of the parking lot. So you're gonna have to use one of these barrels to take all of your gear into the yurt. This includes in the winter time, you guys. There were also a couple cabins here that I discovered. Wheelchair accessible, barbecue, deck, and this is site 137 for reference. And I did notice they have a really nice screened in porch as well as somewhere to store your food safe from bears. You can see here that there's clearly a washroom and a heating source so that they could probably be used in the winter, I imagine. Really nice Adirondack chairs out front. I looked inside and there's either a queen or a double bed as well as bunk beds. As Canada likes to do, garbage is very well organized here. You can see there's garbage, recycling, there's a yellow drop for your propane tanks. And you wanna make sure that you sort out your garbage and recycle properly. Take care of the earth, guys. The beach at George Lake, the main beach right behind me, is actually a pretty great one considering the rocky terrain we have here. That they have a sandy beach at all is pretty darn awesome. And you can see the canoe launch right next to it. Great place to spend a sunny summer afternoon. The little ones in our camping party really love this beach. They spent hours and hours here. You'll notice that it is roped off. Beyond that rope, it does get quite deep. So if you don't have a strong swimmer, make sure that if they're getting close to the rope, they do put a life jacket on. The beach was never super busy. There were lots of picnic tables to sit at. We brought our lawn chairs down as well. And the water was fairly warm, about 75 Fahrenheit in the middle of July. There's lots of parking up by the beach if people just wanna come for the day and not camp overnight. No lifeguards on duty and notice no pets. I cannot count the amount of people I saw bringing their dogs to this beach and letting them swim. This was especially frustrating because there's a dog beach right next to this main beach. So people take your pet to the appropriate beach. Canoeing. If you're at Killarney, you must canoe or kayak. It's just the most gorgeous place. There are so many little lakes. We mostly spent our time boating on George Lake, obviously, but we rented canoes from Killarney Outfitters right next door. And you can see here the La Cloche mountain range. And you'll see later in this video, our hike to the crack and the spectacular view we got there. But it's just a very calm lake and beautiful views. If you're boating by the beach, you'll notice there is a nice big rock that a lot of the tweens and teens tend to like to jump and dive off of, including our kids. It's very deep on the one side, very safe. 
Killarney Provincial Park does not themselves rent out canoes, kayaks, or paddle boards. You actually have to rent these through an outside company called Killarney Outfitters, which is about a five minute drive from the park entrance. We loved stopping in here when we were picking up the keys for our rentals because it was just a cute spot. They had all these floral decorations inside of canoes. There was hummingbirds everywhere, flowers all over the porch. The kids enjoyed sitting out on the chairs and benches and they serve London ice cream here, which is delicious gourmet ice cream. So that's the spot to go to have a snack if you have time on an afternoon. And inside Clarny Outfitters, they sell just about anything you can imagine. There's clothing, there's gear, there's anything you might have forgotten in terms of cooking stuff, sleeping bags, um, basically anything. If you are outbound camping and you are doing a canoe in sight and you forgot something, they really have anything you could need here at Killarney Outfitters. They're also very knowledgeable about the area if you have any questions while you're there. They will give you a key to your boats as well as life jackets, paddles, and a safety kit here at Killarney Outfitters. And then the boats themselves are at a boat launch right on George Lake Main Beach. So you don't need a vehicle in order to tow these boats. You just need to bring the key back, unlock your numbered canoe, and away you go. Hiking. There are so many incredible hikes at Killarney that you must do if you are going. We chose to wait until our kids were a little older to go camping here because we knew we wanted them to be able to enjoy this aspect and they probably couldn't as toddlers or babies. You can't walk to the trailhead from George Lake Campground. You, you need to drive and there's a parking lot right there. If you have a pass to the park, the parking is free. Make sure you really do read those warning signs. My husband said he was shocked when they were hiking at some of the people coming in, like one person had a baby in a baby carrier, like a really small infant. Other people were bringing their pets who clearly couldn't climb. There were elderly people with like poles for hiking. And you can kind of see as we progress through this hike, this is the hike to the crack, that it's a very difficult terrain. Do not bring a baby on this hike. <laughs> Hike to the crack and back is not a loop. It's a one way there and back and it takes about three to four hours if you're giving yourself enough time. But when you get to the top, it is totally worth the hard climb. It's totally worth the view. Bring lots of water and snacks so that you don't get stranded and nobody has to call 911 for you. We also packed a bullhorn and bear spray just in case. As you can see, the crack is at the top of the LaCloche Mountains, and it really was breathtaking for all who hiked it. There are other hikes at Killarney that are a little bit shorter, but most hikes are going to be at least an hour and a half or more. So bring some good hiking shoes, bring the gear you need, a backpack for all your stuff, and just enjoy this glorious sight. get to George Lake Campground, the map they give you is basically just of the campground. They don't give you a complimentary trail map, which is surprising because a lot of provincial parks do. This is where we camped at George Lake. So I purchased a Killarney trail map right at their park store when I entered, and it has a write-up of all the different trails, and you can see as I unfold it, it's quite detailed. It has every trail, canoeing path, portage area. So if you're really hiking and canoeing a lot, you want to buy this. It was like $6.95, worth the price. Other things to do in the area, there's the small town of Killarney, which only has a population of a couple hundred people, but there's a nice marina there, and there's a cute fish and chips place, a general store, as well as Killarney Lodge, which I think is probably fairly pricey to stay. Didn't fit in our budget, that's for sure. And we kind of drove past the lodge and stumbled upon something really cool with the kids while we were there and that was this giant canoe paddle sculpture which was made of 
um, bronze and wood and the kids got a real kick out of this so make sure if you're in Killarney that you drive to the end of Killarney Mountain Lodge Road and see it. We also saw the Killarney Lighthouse which was on the edge of uh, rocky outcropping. Everyone loved this. Um, the video doesn't really do it justice how beautiful it was. You can see on a clear day, as we could in the distance, Manitoulin Island. My son is Manitoulin First Nation, so this was really exciting for him to see in the distance. Killarney Lighthouse actually reminded me a lot of Prince Edward Island when we visited there. There's a lot of red rocks, and it seemed like you were on the ocean, even though you were just on Georgian Bay. Other things to do at the provincial park itself, there was an amphitheater there which the staff routinely will do educational talks or interesting things for the kids. There's lots of bench seating and lighting for when it's dark. We also stumbled upon like a craft hut that was near the beach and our family did its annual camping talent show at this craft hut and it was a lot of fun. I mean, if you're camping with several families, it's always fun to have traditions and different things you do each year that make it more exciting, especially on kind of a dreary rainy day like this day was. And my kids are always up for ending our trip and our talent show with a dance. A word about something that's very important to consider when thinking of camping at Killarney and that is bugs. There were so many mosquitoes and black flies, we were covered in bites. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have lots of citronella candles and especially the most effective mosquito coils when you camp here. On my table, I have cans of mosquito repellent with DEET. Chemical free is not the way to go at Killarney and also bring your screen tent. At night, Killarney really is gorgeous. The skies are clear, the stars are beautiful because there's no light pollution close by from any cities. But I will say one thing we were not impressed with was the firewood. They charge an arm and a leg for bags of firewood at the park entrance, and you know what? That wood is wet and soggy. So we ended up cooking most of our meals, not on the fire, but on our camp stove. Thank goodness we had brought a camp stove along and uh, you know, in the screen tent to keep away from the mosquitoes. The provincial parks contract out one company who supplies firewood to every single provincial park in Ontario, and every single park has wet, spongy wood. I really wish they could correct this and have properly dried wood, but you know, we made it work with our camp stove, and every night with all of our extended family, we did a big buffet on one of the sites, and uh, you know, no electricity, not very good campfires, but we still were able to make it work with our camp stoves. When planning the drive to Killarney, you are in for a treat. Killarney is about five hours north of Toronto and you kind of get off the 400 and hit the Trans-Canada Highway and the views are stunning. It feels like you're driving through British Columbia. And then once you exit the Trans-Canada Highway, there is a sign for Killarney Provincial Park, but what you should know is that the road to get to the entrance is about 60 kilometers long. It's not in great shape, it is very curvy, you need to go slow, and if you're towing a trailer, it can be a lot of work. Notice there's no shoulder, and um, you need to plan accordingly for the drive, but after all those bumps and curves, the entrance to Killarney will welcome you, and you will be so happy that you made the trip. Thank you so much for coming along camping with my family this week. It was a pleasure to have you join us. And I really hope after seeing this review, you will take the time to visit Killarney. It is such an amazing place and well worth the drive. For more of my camping videos, check the link right here and we'll see you guys next time. For the least, this is Jen.